I'm Patricia Silva with your SCB News Break for Tuesday, April 4th. LESD homicide detectives are continuing to investigate the fatal shooting of a man in Newhall Monday night. The shooting happened on the 21,300 block of Bottle Tree Lane at 745 at night. When deputies arrived at the scene, they found the victim, described as a male Hispanic adult, in the garage suffering from a gunshot wound to the torso. The victim was transported to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. Detectives have said that they believe the motive of the shooting appears to be gang-related, and there is no further information available at this time. However, anyone with information about this incident is encouraged to call LESD's Homicide Bureau at 323-890-5500. The city of Santa Clarita is offering a $10,000 reward in exchange for information about the person responsible for the disappearance of William Searson. Searson, a resident of Santa Clarita, has been missing since January 26th of this year. Searson was home alone when he went missing. Although his wife Linda spoke to him on the phone at 4 p.m. that day when she arrived at home around 7, she noticed he was gone. Surveillance video showed a vehicle which did not belong to William or Linda pulling up to the home around 5 p.m. that evening. The city says they're offering the reward with the hope that someone will come forward with any valuable info that may help lead investigators to the current whereabouts of Searson. If you have information, please call the Sheriff's Homicide Bureau at 323-890-5500 and contact Detective Brown Fernandez or Detective John Carlin. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, a new county motion will look into improving the treatment of the mentally ill. Plus, if you're driving on Soledad Canyon, watch out for this new traffic pattern. Stay tuned. We taught him how to hit a baseball. How to hit a receiver. The strike zone. The net. You taught him how to hit the upper corner. You even taught him how to hit the open man. But how much time have you spent teaching him what not to hit? Welcome back. A motion by Supervisor Barger will direct county agencies to investigate and report back with recommendations on how the county can better treat the larger population of the homeless mentally ill. The motion was unanimously approved by the Board of Supervisors at Tuesday's meeting. The county will review California's mental health laws to determine the county's role in providing mental health care for the most hard to reach portion of the county's homeless population. It will also evaluate the 72 hour hold duration period. To better accommodate traffic patterns and increase traffic flow, the eastbound curb lane on Soledad Canyon Road approaching Sierra Highway is being modified to a dynamic lane. The dynamic lane becomes an exclusive right turn only or a shared through and right turn lane depending on the time of day and traffic patterns. The lane becomes a through slash right turn lane during weekday evenings. All other times, it's a right turn only lane. A series of electronic signs will be installed along the eastbound approach to Soledad Canyon Road to help alert drivers. The project is expected to be implemented later this month. Tuesday's temperatures were in the high 70s during the day and on Wednesday the high will be 85. Thursday's conditions will be mostly sunny with a high of 77 and a low of 51. Friday and Saturday the cloudiness will stay around and expect rain showers in the morning on Saturday. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Patricia Silva.